What's up guys? I'm back with another top plane commentary. Today is the day of Fiora. It's been a while since I've done one, so I figured I'd just pick out this really good game that I had with her. So we'll see what happens. Starting off with the usual boots and pots, of course. Because she takes really well advantage of it. Pretty good advantage. Um for most time, most of the times, whenever I'm starting top, I don't pick my uh, my summoner, no, my summoner, my skill until I get to lane or just before I get to jungle. Because if I see something, I may choose to choose to pick something different. But every now and then, if I'm comfortable with the champion, I just pick whatever I want to start with. So decided to start with uh, her counter attack, her post. Which is pretty broken in my eyes. From what I'm seeing, being able to block an entire attack and do damage back without doing anything, it's pretty, pretty, pretty strong. Then you'll see what happens whenever I do use it. It works out really well. Really well. Really well. Yeah, so I'm just checking the bush, both lanes, or both entrances, because Victor didn't want to go in the bush until just now. Oh. And we have a fiddle for the jungler. Which kind of aggravated me early, I mean later in the game. Stupid jerk. And this Victor, I'm pretty sure he was pretty new to this character because he messes up a lot. He does a bunch of random things. And good but, yeah, he did pretty decent. And as you can tell, it's a double AD bot. Double AD bot. I guess it's to support Caitlyn because she said she had her uh, Nami runes. <laughs> pretty dumb, but whatever. We're going to go into the jungler, 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 and help him out. <sighs> this is the most boring part of the game. Save your waiting. Yup, and ta-da. Take the first hit, block the next one, walk away, pause for some reason, <laughs> and then walk away. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going up against Jax. I thought I was going to get my ass whooped, but... I played it well, I guess. I missed two creeps. No, I missed just one. Just one, okay. He was in the back row like he was a caster. What a poser. Doofus. So, yes. Until they cast a spell, you don't really know what they start with. And apparently he starts to jump. So, be on the hit. I'm not sure if I would start jump on Jax, but... It seems to be decent, but he decides to jump in again and we trade and trade. He started with what? Oh, okay, he started with the um, cloth armor. Eh, on Jax, I don't know. But I decided to dive on him <laughs> before he got to level 2 so I could get the, not the first player, but just to get the damage before he got counterattack. Worked out in my favor and I got for sister blood dish. Congratulations. I am great. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Olaf died. I mean, Olaf kills our fiddle dicks. I mean, that was very good, but I didn't even notice that. Good job, bro. Oh no, I'm about to get ganked up. For some reason, junglers think that they can do that. <laughs> even, <laughs> I even typing them, like, question marking, like, really, bro? Come on. That was dumbish. And I'm um, just continuing on. Uh, push the lane out. Because Jax was uh, kind of late to the lane. And he pops his counter attack, which means he's obviously about to jump in. So I popped my counter. And I guess he didn't realize the gigantic mini wave that turned on him. On top of the red buff that I had. On top of the two levels I had ahead of him. And at the moment, I'm typing, I'm, I'm like, I, 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 I was sitting there talking to myself the entire time, like, what the hell are they doing? They're really stupid. <laughs> but just, <sighs> just knowing what to do when you're behind. Don't don't dive in on anybody that's two levels ahead of you, especially at the low levels, because it's a little more apparent because you most likely don't have all your skills yet, and they most likely do. So that was a bit confusing to me as to why they chose to do that. So, if you lose your first encounter with your lane enemy opponent, pay passive until you catch, catch up. 
So at the pole at the moment right now, just walking back to the He's suggesting properly, but unluckily for him, the lane pushes out very much, very, very much. Because there's a huge wave pushing. <gasps> so I do the normal thing, wards. I actually started buying wards more often. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and as you can tell, he just has pots and still that single cloth on him, so. He can't really run too far away from me. <laughs> so at this point, I think I just freeze. I'm pretty sure I freeze lane for like at least two minutes. It's fairly boring, so. I guess I'll talk about what I've been doing lately. Hmm. Well, at the beginning of December, I quit. Not really quit. I kind of took a hiatus from all video games. Just quit for a little while. And work on some design things that I usually put together for clients or my friends, church members. For some reason, he's taunting me by trying to go back to base, and I just hack him on the face. Yeah, he loses like 80% of his health. So I could actually baited that out and just activate a repository and jump on me, but I chose not to for some reason. Just because the big, the entire mini wave was right next to me, I didn't want to take the chance of something weird happening or taking a little bit too much damage. So, once again, back to freezing the lane and missing CS like I usually do. Do I get this one? Oh, yeah, I'm doing okay. <laughs> That's another thing. I gotta get better because after quitting for so long, I kind of forgot. And the first game that I did, I think. Yeah, I did it with Marlin. <laughs> I uploaded that video. It's the When the Minorities Play One. I did so horrible on CSing. I was I was so mad at myself. I was so mad. Yeah. Gradually getting better at it again, I guess. <laughs> so I've played i think I've uploaded a game or two of your before. Um yeah. She is fairly strong in lane. And if she does well in lane, she just, she can carry, I'm pretty sure she can. Because of her ult being so, it's not a disruption, but it's such a, <laughs> it's it's so important that it makes people try to run or try to escape her, but you know, you can't really. <laughs> so it draws a lot of attention to her, but she can't be targeted, so everybody's just kind of scrambling and run, running. And if you build the right item, she can do a lot of AoE damage. Which is why I believe I build into Hydra later. Which causes her to deal a ton of AoE and causes the entire t team to like just fall apart. So she's she might be one of the characters I just play straight for a few times. I mean I do I, my main role I believe is AD carry, but there are a few top lane top lane champions that I do decide that I'm comfortable enough to play a lot. <laughs> Singe, Riven, Jax, and I'm thinking I'm gonna add her to the list. So she'll be up there. She'll be up there. But apparently our little double AD bot lane is doing pretty decent. But they're diving at the moment. Not sure what they're doing. Okay. <laughs> they're doing okay. <laughs> but for some reason I got a ping to fall back. I'm not sure what's going on. <clears throat> So yeah, the scale order or maxing order I uh, decided to go with for this game is maxing her W and then her E because the passive damage that her W gives is the most passive attack game in the game I believe. So it, it kind of equates to buying a, a free item I guess. Wait, what did you say? Oh, you wouldn't say buying a free item. What did you say? Grammar, shut up. Um, yeah, he equates to about a free item. A pretty good item. <laughs> and he does some pretty decent harass right there. Like, I'd be silly as I walk into turret range and get free attacks off of myself. I'm just greed. I'm trying to get these creeps. And this silly fiddle. See, at the moment, when I saw him do that, I was like, why aren't you ulting? But then, um, yeah, I realized he didn't have it up. I realized after I watched the video <laughs> that he didn't have it up. But having so many abilities that Jax has that pretty much signal that he's about to go in on you, 
having that counter attack is pretty easy to uh, <laughs> to get ready. And right here, I could have did it done this as he walked towards him anyway, instead of waiting until he got under his tower. So, Fiddles cleans up, but then Fiddles gets cleaned up, I guess. We'll see what happens. Auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Undertow, boo. Yeah, he gets deadened. I actually don't care. <laughs> I usually watch fights like that whenever I see them happening, but I realized it, it wasn't going to happen, so I just skipped down and started shopping. Like a real girl does, right? <laughs> so, I finish off my boot, Eliza. At 10 minutes, or near 10 minutes. And for some reason, this lane, Victor walks into my lane and starts pushing my lane, but he took his lane early, so... I guess that's okay, since he's not just wandering around doing nothing. Oh, 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 oh. He does some weird stuff later. Yeah, he does some really weird stuff. I'm like, he's got to be new to this champion. But, yeah, so he draws Vlad top for some reason. I don't know why Vlad came top for But, Jax is here too, and I'm on my way up. Mm. So, he sees Jax coming towards him, he pops a key. Is that his Q? I don't know if that's his Q. I haven't played Victor. Victor is one of those champions that looks interesting or intriguing, but I just decided to like not go after it. <laughs> so hack up on the Vladimir's. He runs away like a little girl. And um, yeah. You continue to push the lane out. Ooh! Bink, bink. Once again, Fiddle's getting cut off by Olaf. He gets a double kill. That's not good. And they're pinging for Draven to chase him. He must be low. But, yeah. <laughs> Victor and I are taking them to Draven's searching for the, <laughs> the lost Olaf. Oh, he found him. What's going to happen? Heck, 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 heck. Uh. Nope. Just beat him. Just beat him. <laughs> so that's three straight kills to Olaf. <sighs> At least three. I haven't checked on him. I haven't realized or paid attention to how many he had before. So, Victor teleports to me to try to save it from Jax. And I walk into Ridge, into their Ridge to check it. And Peekaboo! There's a free kill. Yeah, pop the combo, drop the ult just to make sure it happened. <laughs> Chase down Vlad. For some reason, he walks into the bush like it's on his head. Could have walked into his turret, I'm pretty sure I would not have chased that. <clears throat> and I see a full health <laughs> Jax running towards me, so. I'm like, I'm doomed. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do, so I kind of tried to bait it out since I saw Fiddle coming. And actually, it looked like I almost killed him, but I, mean, I may have been able to do a different route to get to, um, <laughs> to Fiddle's a little quicker. A little more quickly. But <sighs> things happen, whatever. So, since I, when I noticed that I came so close to not dying, I decided to get the lifesteal to see if I can sustain against him. So, decided to pop on that Vamp Scepter. Which I like that they added the um, extra damage to it because it makes it a little more sensible to buy it because you get damage immediately instead of just having no damage and life steal. So, yeah, it's pretty good now. Huh? Pretty good. A little more expensive, but who cares, you know, right? You know, you know, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm like walking back to lane, but. See, they're pushing down mid fairly far, so I'm like, I can go join them. Or do I go bot and help with the 3v2? Or do I go find out what's going on now? Yeah, so for some reason, Olaf ults. Victor drops his ult and just leaves it there. Yeah, so it was a good choice to go mid since, you know, bot is handling itself. <laughs> Middle 6 eats up the Olaf and I don't get there in time to steal that kill. <laughs> oh well. So, yeah. Team's on fairly well even though the deaths don't really show it showing it as being fairly well. <sighs> but yeah, we're doing pretty good on pushing and getting the lanes done. <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't expect to do so well against Jax, but until they threw themselves at me the way they did, 
it was kind of a gimme. <laughs> Starting off three kills ahead is pretty fun. Pretty fun. But I gradually got greedy, so yeah. <laughs> Take the raid, run away. Check red, don't see nothing. Nothing at all. They gotta do some tippy toes walking around. And I see they still try giving away kills to this Olaf. What is he right now? Is he like seven four? Oh, he's up there. I'm actually doing this on my work day, but it decided to be a tornado warning outside, so I'm at home recording. Yay! Yeah, I've been uploading a lot of random clips of me playing with music in the background. Check them out; they're pretty fun. <laughs> a couple of them are pretty funny. Uh, on top of that, with um. The one minorities play when I play with Marlin is it's it's very fun. <laughs> uh, so much fun. But uh, at the moment, just push another lane since they're trying to take bot. I think they do take bot. I believe it's four v or three, four v one. Because Olaf is top, and he hits me, and he hits me again, and then I hit him, and then I hit him harder, and then I out him, and then I slap him, uh -uh. and he did. It's magic. He's fed, but I'm fedder. <laughs> I think he may have had more kills than I did, but I'm not sure. That was my six, and I think he already had three or four early. Kill fiddlesticks, then he got a triple kill, then he got another kill in that top lane, go back area. We were at least even. <laughs> at least even. But he's jungle, so he has less creep than I did. Than I did than I did. So I feel, I feel pretty safe to pretty much split push by myself because I can pretty much one be one anybody with or without my help. So I just push out and then I see them engaged in the middle again. Olaf's back apparently. <laughs> Came back pretty quick. Still trying to kill that guy, not that guy, <laughs> Draven. They take bot. He drops an exhaust. That's that's a weird thing. I started off using exhaust on my 80 carries, and I've been doing it for like ever until like two or three months ago. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. It's it's up to play because ignite works for kills, but exhaust works for both situations for kills and for escapes. It's up to the player though. Um, right here, I know I'm at like probably 12. Seconds, yeah, yeah. It's pretty close off cooldown, so I didn't want to just walk in and have him like immediately run away, but he didn't go in anyway, so I was sad face. Like, oh man, Israel. So I wanted to mid and I see the party stop me. And I'm like, hey guys, make a move and I'll dash in really quick. Hey guys, make a move and I'll dash in really quick. Hey guys, make a move and I'll dash in really quick. I heard it going in. <laughs> So yeah, immediately going on 80 carry, hack hack, oh, blah, 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 blah. She ults, but I'm not there, so I just flash out. <laughs> but they do get victor since he was brave enough to walk right into the turn and pretty much tank it. So, I beat up on the Olaf one away. Hacking him like four or five times. Yeah, four or five times, and he just disappeared. <laughs> she trying to get a lucky Q off and it doesn't work. And so I just push out the turret. Or do a little bit of damage to the turret, I'm pretty sure I can't take it because on the attack speed. Or the damage actually. I get poked twice. Nope, once. Okay, just once. <laughs> he does no damage with that for some reason. I laugh at him. That's, that constitutes a laugh fight. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, rain sounds so peaceful. I'm about to take a nap. Mm -hmm. 4v1, I will not do, so I run away. <laughs> run away quick, Willie. Quick, wait, wait, wait. I tell them to watch middle since they're all pushing down mid. I don't think anybody goes. Pretty odd. But, odd but, um, was going to take our red before going back, but both the 80 carries are trying to go at it. I think Draven gets it. I'm pretty sure Draven gets it. Because I support Kate and it's way too strong. She doesn't need it. Yeah, she doesn't need it. Ooh, that's a fairly large mini wave. Draven's gonna clean that up. Get some moolah. 
So yeah, I get the Hydra. The Hydra is a very, very nice item. Having another step to uh, Tiamat made me happy when I heard about it. I was like, what? It gets better? No way. Oh wait, I just remembered that you can activate. Oh wow, I forgot about that. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a pretty good item. Regular. Really for people like Fiori that do splash damage. Or do single target damage, but need the splash damage. Yeah, clean up boys really quickly. They're fairly low, and they're fairly pushing. But as I walk down, I see them back off early, and I'm not even there yet. So I realize that they have a ward, so I try to go through their jungle. And I'll take a poke from Ezreal, and I'm sad face. He has red and phase, or is it just phase? Victor's silly. He tries something to get his jacks. I get altered by Sona. I'm like, you silly fool. So, yeah. Draven walks in and auto attacks and takes that kill for free. <laughs> and I ult the Ezreal. Keep him down nothing. I'll get him down nothing really quick. Hack him up. Yeah, and Draven finishes up. Vladimir. And he got the jacks too for it. What's up? I'm down and up. <laughs> so, yeah. Fiora. Early game throws, everything is like that. Yeah, don't put yourself behind people. It's all good. Subscribe, like, share, favorite, whatever you call them. Do me a favor, people. Wink, wink. Talk to you later. Bye bye.